Hi guys and welcome back to Hilltop Farm. I'm Jay and welcome to another Soapbox Sunday. This particular article floored me. Absolutely did. You remember that when you were a kid, they probably still got it now, um, they had the Dr. Zeus book, Green Eggs and Ham. Well, this conjures up images of that. This was in our uh, newspaper the other day, and I wanted to share it with you. It, to me, defies belief. But anyway, let me read it to you. Now, we have a headline. Would you eat a green chicken breast? Customer discovers vomit-coloured flesh inside Coles meat as the supermarket insists it should taste the same. Those of you that live outside Australia, Coles is one of the two largest supermarket chains in the country. It goes on. Supermarket giant Coles claims a vomit colored green flesh discovered by a customer inside a chicken breast is not harmful to eat. Angry customer Jamie Ferguson promised never to shop at Coles again after finding the product in food she purchased from the Northcote store in Melbourne. While cooking dinner, she opened the packet of four chicken breasts and found what she described as poison. And here I will insert a photo. Doesn't that just make you shudder? Absolutely vile. She said, absolutely disgusting. We had to throw out the dinner we were cooking. Mrs. Ferguson was concerned her family could have fallen sick from the food had they not discovered it before eating it. It is still within its expiry date, she said. A Coles spokesperson told Daily Mail Australia the green colour was caused by oxygen deficiency in the muscle of the bird. Deep pectoral myopathy is a green discoloration of the flesh caused when swelling occurs as a result of oxygen deficiency in the muscle, she said in a statement. This usually happens from the bird flapping its wings too much. Heaven forbid it should complain. It is not harmful to eat and the taste of the chicken would not be altered. She encouraged customers to return any item they are not happy with to their nearest store for a full refund. The quality of our products is very important to us, she said. Well, I'm sure she did. And that's just lovely. Now, as you all know, uh, we here at Hilltop Farm are very much against supermarkets and very much against supermarket chickens but I will say this lady did at least choose one that says something about animal welfare approved or something so she's trying to do the right thing but if you look at that photo again someone a butcher had to remove that from the frame so one it should have been noticed at that point but no, they couldn't be bothered throwing it to one side and putting it, whatever they do with it, whether they put it up on another conveyor belt for pet food or I don't know, but they didn't. They thought that it was perfectly okay. And if you can see, it's on the side that was cut from the frame, so they would have seen it. So not only did they pass it, but then it was passed down the conveyor belt to whoever put it in those packets and and then they seal it you know with the the plastic wrap on the top so whoever packed it didn't see it either okay possibly whoever was in the store and put it into 
uh, you know, the display cases. They might not have seen it because it could have been on the underside and I accept that. But in my opinion, the person who cut it off the frame and the person who packed it in the, the little tray, there's no excuse. They should have seen that and it should have been taken away straight away. So that's, that's one issue. Another issue is, what the hell is it? Because um, I'm not buying all this. The bird was flapping around too much. And that part of the muscle was starved of oxygen. Our birds sometimes um, flap when we're either catching them or once you've um, dispatched them and they sort of have all that sort of muscle twitching and, and what have you. I have never ever seen anything like that, ever. Uh, and I certainly wouldn't eat it if I did, did have it. And then for the supermarket to sort of say that it's edible, they should have been just falling all over themselves with apologies and not only refunded this lady some money, they should have given her some sort of a voucher as, as a way, a gesture of goodwill. Um, and a way of apologising, not try and defend themselves by sort of saying, oh, well, had you brought it back, we would have given you a full refund. But at the end of the day, there's nothing actually wrong with it. It's quite safe to eat. Well, if I was that woman, no joke, if she'd have said that to me, I'd have gone home and I'd have fished that chicken fillet out of my bin. I'd have rinsed it off under the tap and I'd have cooked it, and I'd have taken it back to that store manager and I'd say, you think you can eat it? Be my guest. There it is. You eat it. And just see how willing they were to give it a try, because uh, I think we all know what the answer would be. They wouldn't cut you. Anyway, as I say, a bit, bit different of a, a rant this time round, but not so much a rant, more just disgust, shock, horror. But anyway, I'm sure we're not the only country that has these weird, wonderful things appear in their newspapers. So that's it for this week. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Make sure you hit subscribe so you don't miss out on any other videos. And until next time, it's goodbye from Hilltop Farm. See ya.